And so there's been some interesting developments with Jake Paul. As you guys can say, I believe Tommy Fury had a fight this past weekend. I'm not sure against who, but then again, who do we know exactly who Tommy Fury fights? We just know he fights. But um, yeah, turns out he did win his fight and it turns out Jake Paul was actually there. Um, and they had a little bit of a scuffle, a little bit back and forth. Well, not so much of a scuffle, but just them two going back and forth, wanting each other, wanting to go at each other and whatnot. And if you guys have been following the history between these two guys, they you would know that um, Jake Paul has been uh, trying to fight Tommy Fury for the past two fights. I believe the first time they tried, uh, Tommy Fury was hurt. And then the second time they tried, Tommy Fury couldn't get into the country. So now Tommy Fury definitely wants this fight. He wants it in the UK. He wants it um, in his hometown and such like that. And Jake Paul, in a sense, may be accepting it. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, come on. Let's just face facts. I would really, really hope that Jake Paul, I see he's going under. I see a few names being called out. I see the... The um the Andrew Tate, I believe his name is. I can't believe it. I can't remember his first name. I'm sorry, guys, but I remember it was something with Tate. And he's supposed to be this um kickboxer and such who has a lot of kickboxing fights. Then, of course, you got your Tommy Furies. So, with all that being said, guys, it's just like, what? please, in my personal opinion, if I was Jake Paul, take some time off. You know, you just came off a big win. Regardless of what the MMA or the boxing community may say, it's still a pretty big win. Um, does it earn you that respect as a fighter? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. It's you're getting there though. He's on the right track 100%. But be that as it may, um, I would honestly wait until this whole Nate Diaz thing gets cleared up with the UFC because the UFC has a 30, um, I believe it's a three month hold on him. So it's like a 90 day extension hold for him to, to continue to negotiate with them. And I believe it's almost up. I believe it started sometime in September or October around that time frame. So he definitely should be a free, 100% free agent by the end of the year. Um, and so that would be a massive fight. You do not want to ruin that fight. You know, you waited this long. You might as well wait just a little bit longer, or just a little bit. Because at the end of the day, you are going to, if you take this fight, and all things considering, he should win. He should win against... Uh, any other opponent, like, I don't know, I'm not sure too much about this Tate guy, but Tommy Fury, on, on paper, he should win, but my point is, what I'm trying to make is, why go through that, why actually, um, put yourself out there, why try to risk that big payday you can make with Nate Diaz, you know, because that's a huge fight, you ain't gonna make a bigger fight at this level that he is, you know, no other big, big time professional boxer is gonna take you on, and you're not going to try to take on any professional boxer because you're going to get big time hurt. You know, he goes in there, packs on the pounds and goes on there with Tyson Fury. He's going to get hurt. You know, he tries to get Canelo. He's going to get hurt. So, you know, at this level, this is by far the biggest fight. So I would not risk it. I would not try to go and mess things up. Those guys are always going to be there. Those guys <clears throat> are always going to, you know, go um, get their fights in and... They're always going to, like, Tommy Fury is always going to fight some of these no-name guys and, um, you know, get his ranking up there as well. So, you know, that fight's always, always going to be there. So, me, personally, if I was Jake Paul, I would wait until he gets this massive fight, this massive payday against um, Nate Diaz. That's my personal opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are, um, would like Jake Paul to do himself. Would you like him to wait or would you like him to go against this take guy or go against this um tommy fury you know let me know who you think he should go against in the comments like subscribe hit the notification button guys and i'll see you guys in the next video